Hey guys, it's Willie here again with another episode of Embroidery Hub. This time I'll be showing you how you can achieve a record setting 3D puff on a Richardson cap using three layers of 2.5 millimeters of foam, like this. If you saw the last episode where I showed you how to embroider on a Richardson cap using a multi-head Ricoma at a thousand stitches a minute, then you won't want to miss this episode. This time we're going to test our limits with a 3D puff embroidery. So if you guys are as crazy as we are and want to attempt this, then you make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. There I'm going to show you where you can get this design for free. Now let's jump right in. Now for this project you don't need too many materials. What you really need is your cap, your foam depending on the color of the thread. Make sure you have the same color of foam and your 80 by 12 size needles. And the reason why we're not using stabilizer on this project is because of the Richardson cap, they're very structured, so no need to put any stabilizer in the back or in front. So the reason why I'm using the 80 by 12 needles is because they're a little thicker than the regular standard 75 by 11s. This way, when the front of the cap starts bouncing, the needle won't have too much movement. I want to remind you that this is a very thick amount of foam. Typically we use 3mm, 4mm foam used for a 3D puff and some have even doubled up 3D foam to achieve a 6mm 3D puff. But what we're going to be attempting is even higher than that. We're attempting a 7.5mm of height. Alright guys, so let's go over the profit potential for this cap. So for these two caps right now, we purchased them for $5.75 around there. But if you purchase them at wholesale, you can definitely get them around $3 to $4.00. So that's even better for you and it's more profit. Now for a foam like this, it's probably costing you around 25 cents. Remember we're gonna be using three. So think about 75 cents to a dollar that you're adding on to the cap. Now the foam you can get at a Joanne store or Michaels, even Amazon has it. Or you can just go to your nearest Walmart and they also have foam. Now if you guys wanna learn the basics about 3D puff embroidery, scroll down to the link below. We're gonna have a video there for you. All right, so for regular size 3D puff designs, you should be able to charge around $25 to $30, which is this one here. But when you're doing something this massive, you should be able to charge around $35 to even $40 for just one cap. Let us know in the comments below, what would you charge for a 3D puff embroidery this high? And let us know what's the highest 3D puff embroidery that you've been able to do. Now when it comes to hooping Richardson's, there's a few things you need to do differently. To learn these steps, Scroll down to the description below. There's gonna be a video there that's gonna show you how. All right, so today I'm using the MT1501. This is a 15 needle machine, and we're gonna be running this at lower speeds because we're gonna be doing a very thick 3D foam. Now, there are adjustments you need to make, as you guys know. We have a video on that. It's gonna be in the link below or anywhere around me right now. We're gonna be lowering our cap drivers, and we're gonna be raising our presser foot. Now, if you watch the video on the link below, you're gonna learn all the tips and tricks to make this work. So usually we run our caps at a thousand stitches a minute and even on a 3D puff, but we only use one foam. In this case, we're gonna be using three foam and that's gonna require some adjustments. So what I recommend is for you guys to lower your speed so you can get the best quality out of your embroidery. All right, so I'm making these adjustments not only because we're creating a high 3D puff, but also because we're using the Richardson 112s. Before I begin, if you guys wanna see a live demonstration like this and get hands-on training on a Recoma machine of your choice, join us for Deco Summit, which the link is gonna be below. So Deco Summit is a three-day conference where instructors will show you how to use your machine and how to create projects like this and more. All right, guys, so here we have our design as an artwork. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert it into a satin stitch and I'm going to make my density all the way down to one. Since this is a really big design, I want to make sure that I have as much threads in there holding the three foams as much as possible. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my zigzag underlays. This way the puffiness can stand out. Now we're going to go into our pull and push compensation. So I'm going to make my letters as thick as I possibly can. Now, if I have them too skinny, 
the 3D foam is not going to really stand out as much. And the last step we have to do, as always, make sure that your letters start from the bottom and move towards the top of the cap. And the reason for that is so we don't have any registration issues or puckering. All right, so the first step is putting the cap into the machine and then we're going to trace like we always do. Let's move it towards the center. And there you go. A little bit more. Okay, that's perfect. We'll bring it down some towards the middle and trace. All right, so the next step is getting your foam and putting it right on top of the cap. And I like to hold it down with just a needle, poke it in there. And then we use the other needle on the other side. All right, so we're set. Now we just have to press the start button and let the machine do its thing. If you guys want to try out this design, just scroll down to the description below and you can download it there. All right, it's all done now. All we have to do is just take it off. One, two, and three. Oh my God. Now we just have to clean it up. We're gonna take all of these uh, uh, foams that are in here, we're gonna take them out and uh, apply some heat to it so the threads could sink in. And that's pretty much it. Let's do that now. All right, so I'm gonna be using this small tool. I'm gonna to be using just a long piece so that I can push in and take off the excess thread. So the ones I'm gonna be pushing in are gonna be the ones that are already embroidered. For example, this one here, all I have to do is just push it in and you can already see how it starts to hide. Now, once I apply some heat, all of this area will sink in and the foam will hide inside of the threads. So the same thing as you can see over here in these areas here, you have a little bit of thread sticking out. Once you apply the heat, these threads will sink in and all the foam will just go in there. Uh, also to take off the excess uh, foam from for example, this area here, it's very useful. Here we go, nice. All right guys, so now I want to measure how far away we are from the brim of the cap. Now I want you to remember we're using a Richardson cap and we're doing a total of 7.5 millimeters of foam. We use a total of three of a 2.5. Usually you use just a one uh, 2.5 foam, but we're using three. Now let's go ahead and measure it now. And right on the seam, we are a little bit, just a little bit over half an inch. You can see right there.
All right, guys, I hope that this tutorial showed you how much you can achieve with your machine with the right settings, digitizing, and practice. We're constantly pushing the limits on what our machines can do and encourage you to do the same. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let us know if you have any questions about this project in the comments below. And remember, if you guys want to learn more skills like these, join us this year at Deco Summit, which the link is in the description below. Also, if you want to connect with other apparel decorators like myself, join our free Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. There you can ask any questions and join our community. Also, for the latest in the world of decorator apparel, follow us on Instagram at RacomaHQ. Alright guys, so thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time.